Yo YouTube, what's good? Jarrett here from Beer and Deadlifts and I just want to talk about the recent 2017 World Strongest Man competition. So the past week in uh, Botswana, Africa, um, 30 of the strongest men in the world have been competing against each other to determine who's the world's strongest man and right now there's been a lot of discussion on the winner um, the second and third place finishers and there's been a lot of discussion on whether the winner deserved to win etc etc and I'm here just to talk about the issues and give my opinion on that. Going through the qualifying rounds um, there was some clear favorites in each group to see who was going to make the final. Uh, I think everyone knew that Hafthor Bjornsson was going to make the final. Uh, Brian Shaw was easily going to make the final. Eddie Hall looked like he had a pretty easy time going through to make the final. Um, Zadrina Savickas, who's actually four-time World's Strongest Man and who is one of my favorite strongman athletes, really had to struggle his way into barely making the final. Uh, that's due to a recent injury that he's had and he ended up not doing so well in the final getting ninth out of 10 athletes overall. So the final was pretty one-sided. Um, there was only like four or five athletes that even had a chance of getting world's strongest man and the rest of them were behind by quite a few points. Uh, the top five guys were Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall, uh, Hafthor Bjornsson, Martins Lysis, and JF Caron. From the start, um, when they announced the events for the final for this year's World's Strongest Man, a lot of people online freaked out saying that this is being handed to Eddie Hall because three of which were static uh, strength events. Uh, there was a press, a squat, and a deadlift in the final, which favors athletes that aren't as good at moving events, such as Eddie Hall. Although Eddie Hall has worked really hard to up his weaknesses so moving events are actually pretty good for him at this point. That being said there was a lot of arguments and issues saying that three static strength events um, is definitely in favor of Eddie Hall and it'd be really hard for Brian Shaw, Haft or Bjornsson or any other contender to beat him in this World's Strongest Man but I don't think that's necessarily true because Brian Shaw is actually pretty good at static strength events too. I mean, we have to take into account that he has an over 1,000 pound deadlift. Uh, the man can definitely squat and his pressing has come tenfold over the past five years. I mean, his log has gone up tremendously along with other pressing events. So the top three finishers and World's Strongest Man this year, 2017, were Eddie Hall with 51 points. Uh, Haftor Bjornsson edged up Brian Shaw for second place with 50 points and Brian Shaw at 49 points. Um, Haftor Bjornsson was complaining because he would have tied Eddie Hall overall if he had gotten that one extra rep uh, counted to him. But honestly, I don't think that makes a difference. Eddie Hall was going after him in the event. If Thor was credited with 15 reps, Eddie would have just pressed another rep in that minute. I mean, it looked like he had plenty more in the tank, and he is the best presser in the competition. So, the results would have been the exact same. Um, but Thor seems to think that it would have been different. They would have tied over on points, and by countback, he might have won. Because they don't do an official countback anymore. They just do who scored higher in the stones as their tiebreaker, and Half Thor won the stone. So, Half Thor thinks that if they, uh, the judge gave him that repetition instead of taking it away, he would have been World's Strongest Man. In my opinion, no. Eddie would have just pushed out another rep. It, it wouldn't have made a freaking difference. Um, Brian Shaw, I thought was the favorite going in. I mean, he is the current World's Strongest Man, and he's also the current Arnold World Champion for the Arnold Classic. But looking at the events, I can see why Eddie Hall would have beaten him. And also, Eddie Hall was much hungrier than Brian Shaw for the title. Eddie Hall's been looking forward to this for many, many years, and it makes sense to why he won overall. So my thoughts and opinions on the matter. I am very happy for Eddie Hall. He definitely wasn't the one I was rooting for to win World's Strongest Man, but he has definitely worked very hard for it. I watched a documentary on him, and he works hard, and he's a good family man. And I'm really happy that he finally got his lifetime goal. My thoughts on him retiring from World's Strongest Man after winning, I think that's a little silly. He should keep going. 
but I understand why he wants to. Walking around 430 pounds definitely, I would think, would not be very comfortable. So it would make sense that he'd want to drop some weight and spend some time with his family and not have to worry about constantly being that huge um, to compete at that level. So that's just my thoughts on the World's Strongest Man this year. If you like this video, hit the like button below. Leave a comment to anything that I've said below. Uh, if you want to hate below, feel free, but I don't really care because this is just my opinion, um, which doesn't mean a whole lot, but I'm putting it on YouTube anyway. And subscribe for more content as I'll have some training footage coming right up. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.